Good evening, my ladies. I have never filmed um, at night time, so this is new for me. Does it look any different? Does it look like dark or like too bright or? No? Great. I'm filming this video at, oh my god. <laughs> my husband always makes fun of the fact that I am awful at accents. I just can't get them, even if I'm, he's so good at them. I get so many requests for this video, so um, here we go, let's go. Um, it's going to be a long video, and that is because I have a lot of stuff that I use for my skin. I never use all of it together, so um, I'm going to have to explain everything, but if I believe in anything, it's skincare. Um, you need to have a good canvas for your makeup first of all but in general I don't want to look busted without makeup on um, and so I have actually taken pretty good care of my skin since I was like 20 years old I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real with you guys I kind of blow the budget on skincare um, I spend a lot of money on my skin I don't really spend too much money well until lately I mean I, I still don't spend a ton of money on makeup um, or hair. Um, I always do my own hair. But when it comes to skincare, I, I ball the fuck out. <laughs> I can honestly probably pay a fat mortgage with how much. And I f don't have a problem with it. I never have regret because, first of all, you wear your face every single day. Your skin reflects your health. I truly believe that. Um, and you it's the biggest organ in your body like it protects your insides you see it at all times um, I also have not done this my entire life but um, it is a good tip to implement as early as possible but you should always be treating your neck area the same way that you're treating your face because you know you know older ladies the ones that have like the wrinkly necks or the vagina necks or the wrinkly, you know, chest. We're all going to be that lady someday, but we can, you know, we can push it back a little further every day by just taking care of this as well. Um, it needs a little bit of love too. So let's get started. I'm going to show you what I've always used, and then I'm going to show you kind of some options that would um, suffice as the same kind of product for maybe different skin types or different budgets. Um, so let's start with, um, so first and foremost, you need an eye makeup remover, obviously. Um, I, I, I only have one right now. Um, I have, this is by BioElements. You're going to see a lot of BioElements in my, um, in my regimen. I love BioElements. This is what they used in hair school when I went to hair school when I was 19. And I have literally used it ever since. Um, obviously I've implemented a lot of other things, but there are like a good three solid products from the BioElements line that I have literally used for 10 plus years now. Um, so what's up BioElements? Sponsor me. Um, okay, so this one is called Gentle Cream Eye Makeup Remover. This one, you're just going to put on a washcloth, um, you want to dampen it, it doesn't matter the temperature of the water, and then you're just going to kind of gently remove your eye makeup. The Another good one that I really like is the Clinique Take the Day Away, I believe it's called. Um, I used to use that one here and there, um, however, this one is, I love it. It's also really good for sensitive skin, if you have sensitive skin, which I definitely have sensitive skin. Um, so that's a good one. Let's see here. So then we're going to move on to cleansers. BioElements. This is my cleanser that I've used forever. Literally forever. I use the Moisture Positive Cleanser. I am extremely dry. Like if I don't take care of my skin, which is probably another reason I'm so obsessed with skincare is because if I don't take care of it, I flake. Like I am like disgusting like a freaking snake shedding its skin I can sit in the car mirror and just pick the flakes off of my face like it's really really gross I have to take really good care of my skin or I'm that girl 
So, um, I use the Moisture Positive. There are tons of other um, cleansers out there. If you are an oily person or combination person, this might not be the best for you. You might want to go with more of a clear um, wash or something that doesn't have oils in it. Um, so you're just going to have to play around with your cleanser. However, this one, if you do have dry skin, this one is so amazing. It's so good. It's the best. Um, actually, to be honest with you, on a day-to-day, -day, I don't even put moisturizer on after I cleanse. I mean, I do here and there, but like on a normal day, I don't because this one has so much moisture in it that I don't have to. I do immediately put it on in the morning or if it's like a really dry winter day and my face feels tight I'll put a moisturizer on after this but typically I don't need to and um, I don't so this is my OG facial cleanser 10 years strong love it for lazy nights I do use the Neutrogena oopsie <laughs> Um, these ones are, so everybody knows the Neutrogena make makeup wipes, the baby blue ones, they're just normal makeup wipes. They have the purple ones, the calming ones, they have, you know, these ones are the shit. The blue ones, the purple ones, all of those, they make me tight, they make me dry, I immediately have to put moisturizer on, and probably again in an hour. They really dry my skin out, I think there's alcohol in it, um, which there probably is alcohol and more stuff, but um, the, the, these are like so moisturizing, I don't even have to put a moisturizer on afterwards, like there is like a little bit of residue from the Tala itself that you can kind of touch and it feels a little bit oily and I just kind of rub it in afterwards. These are the shit, I use these at least once a week when I'm feeling lazy, they're amazing. And I use these for my eye makeup remover, my facial cleanser, all of the above. So like I said, I'm a flaky gal. I have to exfoliate at least twice a week. Um, I typically exfoliate if I'm going to do pretty fancy makeup, if I'm going to go to an event, um, or if I'm just like a crazy person in the mirror and I see like I have some flakes around my hairline or I get them like here through my T-zone. Um, and so then I need to exfoliate. I know that it's time to exfoliate. The one that I've used forever, of course, my Bio Elements. This one is almost like a clay based. It's got tiny, tiny, tiny um, grains in it. So which you should have for your facial exfoliant. You shouldn't be using like a body exfoliant, like a, you know, a salt scrub or something. You're going to tear the shit out of your pores. Do not do that for the love of God. Get one that's meant for a face. Um, it's the, the grains in it should be super duper duper tiny, fine. You want fine grains. Um, anyways, this one is more of a clay. Um, I will just scoop it up and I will, my face will be wet at this point. Um, and then I will rub it in. I will put it on my face and rub it in. And if I need a little bit more water, I'll grab a little bit more water. And the key to this is just rubbing. You don't want to rub harder. You want to rub longer. That's the key. You don't want to stress your skin out. You just want to take care of it. You want to, I mean, spend some time. When you're exfoliating, it's it's going to pay off. You're going to be glowy right afterwards. This one, um, I mean, the bio elements, I get them for half off because I obviously have my hair license, but um, they're not expensive, but they're not cheap. That's how I would put it. Another um, face scrub, an exfoliant that I love, is the Mario Badusco. You get this at... Um, Ulta, you can get it online. I got mine at Ulta. This one, they have like a few of them. This one is the strawberry face scrub. So the particles, the um, grains in it are actually strawberry seeds. I don't know if you can see it. Um, everything is really natural in here. There's a little bit of acid in it, which is good. Keeps everything tight. But yeah, I like this because the little grains in it are actual strawberry seeds, and that's kind of how you get that exfoliation. Um, so that's nice. This is only fifteen or sixteen dollars for this big ass tub. I mean, it's four ounces. Yeah, four ounces. I'm getting good at that. Four ounces. I should work at Adventureland. Nobody knows that joke, probably, because I'm from Iowa. 
Anyways, um, so yeah, Mara Badusco. This one's cheap. This one's awesome. This one probably would work for everybody's skin tone. It is very lathery. Okay, and then honestly, my favorite exfoliant that I've ever used in my entire life, even more so than my Bio Elements, is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate. I only have the sample size, so I got this. So first of all, sample sizes, get them and use them. A lot of times you can just keep getting sample sizes and it's going to be cheaper than it would be to buy the entire bottle anyways. I learned this trick from Extreme Couponing, the show. <laughs> so anyways, um, I went to go pick up the big um, bottle of this because I love it. Oh my gosh, it's the best. It has like this one is like really, really, really gritty. Um, and so I like it for w when I'm really dry, really flaky, you know, I see my skin and freak out type days. This is the best one ever. I love it. Oh my God. So I went to go buy it. This one is pricey, y'all. This one is for the normal size, which is about that big, $85. So, I did not purchase this. I'll probably just continue to get samples or I'm not sure. I'll figure out a way to get it. But if anybody wants to buy me this, I really, really like it. Okay. So, on to, let's see, what should I move on to? Toners. Um, I don't use toners too often. I do, however, use the Mario Badusco. Um, they have, he has a bunch of facial sprays. I like the, um, the this one is chamomile, aloe, chamomile, and lavender. So I'll wash my face and then I'll spray this on. Um, even the nights that I don't put moisturizer on, I'll spray this on just because it does help intensify your moisture and your skin, what you know, what you already have. And then right before I moisturize, I will also spray this on during the day or like right when I'm about to do my makeup, I spray this first. It's amazing. It smells so good. Like, I can do it right now. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like I could go to sleep. It smells like the essential oils I put on my daughter's pillow to calm her down. It smells so good. Um, not like she's crazy, but I just do it because I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. Another toner. So I just use the Thayer's Witch Hazel, um, the aloe vera formula. I use the rose petal one. Um, and I just use this with a cotton ball. This is when I'm really taking my time, or if I just did a mask, I'll tone right afterwards to make, uh, toner is basically just to level out your pH in your face, make sure everything is going to be applied nicely and, you know, your skin isn't going to get overwhelmed. It's just kind of, it, it's balancing you out. So toner is always good. It's never a bad thing. Um, you just want to make sure that you're not using a toner that's too strong for your skin. Like I can't use like prescription, like the, I've, what is it called? What's that? really really like popular skin acne it starts with a P I want to say what is it I have to look it up oh I remember proactive so I've tried the proactive um toner before oh my god it smelled like um mouthwash and it made my face so tight and so dried out and I felt like I could never put enough moisture back onto it um I hated it. However, if you have oily skin and you struggle with keeping your face dry during the day, um, I would kind of use a stronger toner. That will help kind of clear out those pores fully all the way. Okay, masks. Always have some good masks on hand. Um, I like aloe-based masks. I really like aloe vera, if you can't tell. I would sleep in it if it wouldn't ruin my sheets. I love aloe vera. Um, okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is BioElements. This one is called Gel Therapy. It's just a clear mask. It's very, it feels just like aloe. What does it smell like? It smells like medication, like a doctor's office. It smells clean. It smells good. I like it. So you just put this on for 10 minutes. Um, it's just clear. It doesn't dry or anything. And then you wipe it off. It's just really a boost of hydration to your skin. Um, always good. This one is uh, by the brand Clarity RX. It is called Cold Compress. It's a cucumber mask. It's just basically cucumber and aloe vera that I overpaid for. But um, anyways, uh, you put this one on the exact same way. It's a clear mask. You put it on. You let it sit. I have worn this one um, all day one time just because I was. it was a really dry winter day. My face was like, when I laughed, you know, it was tight 
and um, so I put this one on all day one time it says 10 to 15 minutes but like I said it's just like aloe you know I'm sure there's some other good stuff in here there better be anyways for what I paid I love this mask I wear it all the time I do this probably once a week this is my second one and I just started buying this this year or you know last year so this is a good one um, and I just bought this where I get facials so they have um clarity rx yeah okay um and then for masks, I mean, we all have like our masks that, you know, just do masks. I think masks are great. Um, I le personally like clear aloe based masks. Um, I think the peel off ones and the clay ones are a little harsh for my skin. I'll get like a red line where it was. <laughs> Although it probably does pull things out of my pores, I do keep um, my face pretty clean. So I don't really like that feeling of like shrunken up pores all tight and so I like these masks um, another thing you could use as a mask is the Clinique Moisture Surge I don't know if you've ever used this before this shit is awesome you can use it as a mask you can use it as a moisturizer you can use it as a, a hydration boost like before your moisturizer um, this shit is awesome for Christmas my mom literally just asked for this so I bought her like the big big one <laughs> like this th it's great I have my mom's skin we have very similar skin so we're always asking advice from each other although it's normally me just giving her advice but <laughs> love you mom I talked about how I have flaky skin how I have dry skin um I know that a lot of other people struggle with that same thing it took me a while to figure out how to you know reduce that effect of my skin like it was so annoying I would like wash and exfoliate and moisturize twice and then put on makeup and an hour later I could pick off makeup in areas not only facials help me obviously but acid works for me glycolic acid um, it really kind of takes my skin and sucks it all up and then once I apply moisturizer it sucks that up and uh, not only would I feel tight in a good way, not like in a dry way, but like in the in the way where I didn't feel like my makeup was loose and coming off, but it just felt tight and secure. Um, I love it. I I, I love it. Um, when I was pregnant, my skin was really funky, and I would actually have to use this every single day. This is expensive. You can get this at, um, where do you get this? Whole Foods, Sprouts. Um, you can get it at like, the natural section of some um, grocery stores, maybe. This stuff is the shit. Anyways, you want to put this on. You want to have your face completely washed, and then you'll take a little bit of this. It's like a brownie, or, like brownie, brown orange color. Um, I just use one little squirt. Um, it's like a very liquid based, and you just take it and you put it all over. I definitely focus on my T section, and then you'll put your um, moisturizer on immediately after, and it kind of sucks it up. Um, I've been told to kind of do that the reverse way, where you put the moisturizer on and then the 25% um, glycolic acid however um, I have never tried that so maybe I should give that a whirl but um, this brand is my shell my shell so let's move on to serums serums you guys you need a serum you need a facial serum yes you need a moisturizer I haven't got to my moisturizer yet it is my holy grail I've told you this before and I'm gonna say it again I'm gonna say it till the day, day I die my grandma told me that the key to youth is exercise and moisturizer and I believe her firmly you need a good serum um, what do I use my serums for I use them when I'm really dry and you know I just did a mask or I um, I wash my face and I don't really want to put a moisturizer on because that might be a little bit heavy so I'll just take a little drop of a serum and I'll rub it in my my hands so my hands are all nice and shiny not a ton of product and I'll just wipe it on my face um, and then the next morning I'll put moisturizer on um, but most importantly I use serums for my eyes and my neck um, you don't get zits down here I mean typically you don't get zits under there however you do get wrinkles there 
you get wrinkles there. Everybody gets wrinkles there. I have wrinkles there. <laughs> so I'll just take the, I'll wash my face and then right before bed I'll take some serum um, and I will put it right here. It's so nice and shiny. I don't know, I'm getting old, y'all. I use Bio Elements Recovery Serum. I've had this for probably two or three years. Is it expired? Maybe. I don't know, do they expire? Probably. I don't think this one's expired. It still smells just as delicious and it still works just as good. Um, but this one is Bio Elements Recovery Serum. Pretty expensive, but like I just said, it's gonna last you forever. Um, I use this all over my face sometimes, but I do definitely use this on my neck and on my eyes. Definitely my eyes. Um, quite often. And you just need like a little baby dab and you, I mean it goes a long way. Um, another good one. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. Estee Lauder. How do you say it? I mean I've used their products for since like I was a freaking kid but so anyways this one is for night this one is an advanced night repair this one's just a little guy see i love the samples get the fucking samples i'm not kidding like they'll last you forever and then you can figure out if you like it or not i seriously have so many samples um it smells really good it's just a little tincture and you just use this the exact same way you're just going to put a little bit on your fingertips and you're going to put it definitely right under those eyes and that's going to help with aging that's going to help with bags um that's going to help with discoloration is going to help with texture putting these serums under your eyes and that's also going to do the exact same thing for your neck um this one is this one is my bio elements this one is like i scrape it it's almost gone well there's quite a bit left i guess but it's called a moisture times 10 um a super hydrating facial serum if bio elements doesn't freaking sponsor me after this what what's going on what am i doing with my life they won't so um, anyway, it's Bio Elements Moisture Times 10 Super Hydrating Facial Serum. Um, you can use this as just like a boost of hydration. You can use it as a serum. Um, for a while, when I was really, really dry, when I was pregnant, I um, would use this, just a little bit of this, put this all over, and then I would kind of use it as a boost before I put my actual moisturizer on. Um, it just it made me just look a little bit more glowy. Um, I love this stuff. It's the shit serums are a must I you know I switch mine up because I have a lot and I like to try new things but regardless you need to ha at least have one um, and I'm sure that they have you know Neutrogena's o Olay is a good one I'm sure that they all have serums if you know you're on a budget go get a serum from Walgreens or Target you need a serum and you need a moisturizer so I'm going to show you this one. This one is super duper duper pricey. This was like $325 for this tiny little bottle. I've had it for two years now though and it's not even a half gone. Um, you just use one tiny little squirt and like that much is all you need. And you'll just kind of rub it in your fingers. I like regret putting this on right now because I'm not going to use it. it smells really clean. Um, and then I put that on my t-zone right here because i hate how i have wrinkles right here that's like my biggest you know i get the most self-conscious about that area um and so i'll put that in i'll put that on um usually after i apply my moisturizer really get that in there and tighten it up and man does it tighten it up i mean you can almost feel it working it's amazing and i know that it's so expensive and i would probably i mean i'll buy it again but hopefully not for years when i'm like loaded hopefully but um it's the shit it's amazing they also i also have really 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 like la mer's moisturizer it's also like 225 dollars for a bottle this or a tub this big it's called creme de la creme um i have had it three times now i usually get it for mother's day <laughs> because it's so expensive but i like i savor it if you can go and take a credit card or you have the funds to blow on skincare go get the regenerating serum by La Mer and go get the creme de la creme moisturizer you will not regret it not for a moment you won't done with serums officially done with serums I know I already said that but I wanted to show you a good wrinkle 
slash all of the above one. So I do have one spot treatment that I've used. Um, I have another one. It's the, I think it is by Neutrogena, the spot treatment. It's called Neutrogena spot treatment. It's like in a little, um, like toothpaste bottle, but like a small one, you know, and it's white and you just put it like, I only break out like right here pretty much. And so you just put it on your, your zits. Um, this one is the best one I've ever used. So this one's by Clarity. It's almost gone. You can see that means I have a lot of breakouts. Um, so this one's really easy to apply to. So it's just like kind of like lip gloss and it's very liquid. Like it's very, um, watery it's not thick at all um and then you'll just apply that to the spot that you need treated and clarity rx they also make that um that cold compressed cucumber mask i was talking about earlier i love these i really 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 like the spot treatment you can feel it work as soon as you apply it you can feel it kind of just like sucking all the bad stuff out it looks like i'm almost done here i get um Especially back when I didn't eat that well and I didn't work out, I got really red cheeks. Um, when I would take my makeup off, I, you know, I would get really, really red right through here. Um, and what that is is just blood vessels, essentially, um, just kind of broken blood vessels that um, they just need to be. My skin is so sensitive; I just had to take better care of it. So um, I got this ultra calming barrier repair by Dermalogica. Um, this is my third tube of it in like three years. This stuff is really good if you have like some red areas. It just calms those blood vessels. Um, and I noticed a difference right away. Right away. The first week I used it, I was blown away. And I've always used it since. It's actually the only, um, so they have a whole line of ultra calming. It's for sensitive skin. The Dermalogica brand, um, it's called ultra calming. If you have sensitive skin, it really helps. Um, anyways, this is the only product I need in that entire line to kind of calm my skin. So that, that's saying a lot. Um, it's the shit. So moisturizers. This is my OG moisturizer. Bio Elements Really Rich Moisture. Oh, I'm scraping to the bottom here, but don't you fret. I have another one um, right here. I never run out of this. This is literally more important to me than any other makeup, any foundation, anything. I love this moisturizer. I was also going to show you guys a trick. I know a lot of my followers like beauty, and probably a lot of them have nails. I have nails. Holler not too long but they're there and usually when you have a tub like this you're digging in and then it's all underneath your nail it's so fucking annoying then you have to sit there and pick it out whatever uh, the best solution to that is just to kind of dig this way put it on the top of your nail and then i'll just put that on my face and put it on my hands right now and um, it saves you from any digging into your nail. This is the best moisturizer ever. Really rich moisture. Um, they also have one that's called Crucial Moisture by Bio Elements, who I used to use, or which I used to use, and it's pretty good too. This one is a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger. Like I said, I am like the driest bitch this side of the Mississippi. Like I am so dry. I have to really take precautions when it comes to my moisture on my face and my body in general, but um, my face for sure jerkins me up on my body, but no way. Like I need some good shit for my face. Um, so this one, I don't, I don't go anywhere ever without this ever. I will wash my face with this. This is what I will use to moisturize if I travel. Like, I just, I don't go anywhere without this. I can leave everything else at home except for these two things, and I'm good. In general, you want to be consuming collagen, whether it be in your products or if you're ingesting it. Like, I take six giant, like, horse pills of collagen every morning. Um, collagen is good for your skin, your hair, your nails, your, I mean, everything. Your, everything. Seriously, it's amazing. Also, silicone. Um, if you have wrinkles, bags, um, you're just aging, aging age spots, um, but specifically wrinkles, um, you need to be implementing silicone-based products. 
um, silicone based foundation or moisturizer will really help tighten your face after you've applied or before you've applied if you're using it as a moisturizer before you apply your foundation um, it's really going to tighten up your face a bit it's almost like a mini facelift that's why some people like airbrush um, makeup i personally don't i think it rubs right off but that's just my own personal opinion sorry a lot of people do like airbrush makeup because a lot of the airbrush makeup has silicone in it therefore i do think it's a good like like airbrush makeup is good for like older women because you can see it working like you uh, you spray it on it sets in the wrinkles and all of a sudden the wrinkles don't look so wrinkly here you know in five minutes do i have anything else to show you Oh, I have this vitamin A, um, the Skin Medica, this vitamin A retinal complex 1.0, the age defense. You should always be putting vitamin A in your regimen at some point. It's pretty expensive, but you should have one. I've had this one for a couple of years now, and I just use it maybe once, twice a week. Sometimes not that often, sometimes more than that, but the more you put vitamin A, the more it's going to benefit. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I told you this is going to be such a long video. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this to be under 30 minutes. Like, I've already recorded two 20-minute segments, and I'm still fucking talking. It's going to be such a talking one. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm totally willing to help you find something that works for you. Um, there's so many good skincare products out there and there are so many different skin types. So a lot of the stuff may not work for everybody, but hopefully I explained it to the point where you know if it might work for you or if it won't and maybe I gave you another option. Um, the only option that I didn't give you that is budget friendly is a moisturizer. I don't, I have never, I have actually never used a moisturizer from Walgreens or Target. I'm just being honest. I, I couldn't give you a recommendation if I wanted to. I don't know, sorry. Um, but there's probably one there for you as well. So you just need to find one that works for you. And you need to find, honestly, a whole entire skin regimen because it's the most important thing. It's way more important than your makeup. You really need to take care of your skin. If you know me like my friends and my family do, they know I'm a psycho about my skin. So, um, it's not a bad thing. Hate all you want. I'm going to look better than you when I wear 57. You guys have a great night. And it is the night time. I'm going to go wash my face. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.